y'all. It's me, Kimberly, with Katie's Craft Corner. Welcome to my channel. Um, I hope everybody is having a wonderful September, because today is the 1st of September. Um, mine's been pretty good. It's been extremely busy. I had planned on recording this video yesterday. Didn't have time. Planned on recording it all day today. Didn't have time. And here it is going on uh, 9.30. And if you hear some like grinding, that is my dog, Maisie. She is gnawing on one of her little chew toys, which happens to be a deer antler. And so it'll probably bang against the floor and you'll hear a bunch of gnawing and Lord only knows how many other noises. But she's teething right now. She's just lost a bunch of her baby teeth and adult teeth are coming in. So she's having a few little issues. But anyway, uh, this is an unbagging. Um, there's several items I'm going to unbag, so I'm going to try not to make this too long of a video, and I'm already rambling. So, hopefully that's not a sign of how the video is going to go. But anyway, this is um, an unbagging of everything that I have gotten in for this year's Drills and Chills 2020. I will probably start some of every, all of these. I don't know that I will finish all of them. Because it's already looking like, I know tomorrow I'm busy just about all day long. And so this month already is not looking very good. Like tomorrow I've got to run to the grocery store for my mom. She's hurt her foot, so i got to go to the grocery store for her. Got to go to CBS for me because they screwed up my order. And I've got a mammogram tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing all kinds of running around tomorrow. And I probably won't be on the diamond paint until really late tomorrow. Kind of like I'm not getting to do this video until really late tonight. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start with these two pieces because they come from the same store, although I got them at different times. They came from the same store on Amazon. Um, all of my diamond paintings came from Amazon this year. And this store is um, Bliss Extra on Amazon. And I will have links below to each one of these. Um, this is the first one. And I have already like pre-opened them to try and save some time. Although it's not saving much time because it's just a slit in the bag. But I haven't actually looked at any of these yet. In fact, the last one uh, just came yesterday. And my drills just came today. So, um, I have already opened them because I went ahead and charged up the uh, some of the drills that are in here. Got them charged up so that I would be able to insert a picture and hopefully get this uploaded tonight. If I don't make any big boo-boos, I'm not even going to edit. I'm just going to like do my little intro and outro and add the photo that I need to add and upload this tonight. And hoping that Maisie doesn't make too much noise because right now it's really, really loud. And I know that I have a new microphone and I don't know how well it's going to pick up all of that loudness. I already know it's going to pick up my voice pretty loudly. And so I'm trying to talk really, really quietly. And hold on, she's trying to bark. Okay, hopefully she's calmed down again. Anyway, this is just a rhinestone. This one will be quick and easy for me to fix or do. I'll probably do it like late at night when I can't sleep too much. Or I'll do it on uh, when I'm doing my infusion at the hospital, which I've talked about several times. But I really haven't gone into details about. But I am going to have a whip and chat where I go into more detail. In fact, I might do a whip and chat doing these. Um, where I go into more detail. Um, but anyway, this is just, I actually saw Rachel Ray just recently open this. And I just got so tickled. So I was like, oh, what do you know? I just ordered that same painting off of Amazon. Uh, but anyway, and I noticed that the paper is, or the plastic is, are like folded right there. But it doesn't really matter. Because the glue is actually like only where it's going to be diamond painted at. So like there's a few right in the middle of that flower. But the whole flower doesn't get diamond painted. I'm going to pull the plastic back most of the way and try to put it back down. And I can't see my camera too well. So I actually have a light in the way, like right underneath my nose. So I'm hoping you're not getting too much of a glare. I think you're getting some. Let me see if I can move these lights a little bit. One of these lights is actually going underneath my camera right now. My cam The thing holding my camera. Um, because I had to move my camera because when I put the microphone on with my new telephone, it actually connects where you do your charging and that actually butts up against the bottom. So I had to like turn my phone the other like sideways. So I had to move the whole camera thing from the side of my desk over here to like straight in front of me. 
So it's a whole different setup. So I'm like really confused on where things are and what's going on. But anyway, when I pull it back, I don't think there's, well, there's still a pretty good bit of glare because of the glue. But it is a sugar skull. And there's butterflies and flowers and everything all around it. And I actually have a friend who loves sugar skulls. And I will probably do this up and seal it and put it in some sort of little frame and give it to her. In fact, I probably can find a frame at the Dollar Tree or something to put it in. Uh, but that's that's what I had ideas for this. So I got a friend, she just loves sugar skulls. And when I saw this, I only paid... Let's see, $8.89 for it on Amazon Prime. Um, it is a rhinestone. It came with a standard tool kit with your green boat, your pink, your pink pen, your pink wax, and then cheap plastic tweezers. And we're just going to plant some rhinestones right quick. I'm spending too much time on this painting already. Because this isn't the main painting. Excuse the crinkle crinkle. Let's see, there is... These pretty reds right there, kind of a burnt orangey red. And then there are some pink marquees, some sort of purple marquees. Those are, I don't have my glasses on, so I really can't see. Where'd I put my glasses? Uh, this ain't my good glasses, this is my broken glasses, but they will work. Ooh, I got fingerprints on them too. These are teardrops, little yellow teardrops. These actually are teardrops, too. And then there are some large red AB cabochon, cabochons. Um, they do have an AB coating on them. And then there's some orange ones. Then these kind of, kind of match the teardrops, in a way. And then all of these are just rhinestones. There's red, green, uh, kind of a rose pink, yellow... A pretty, pretty blue, an orange, and then a clear. And that's the rhinestones and everything. And I'm going to pause the video, put this up, and then pull out the next one so that we can spend a little time. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now this one also came in the same store, the Bliss Extra Store. And I believe it's this one. Let me make sure. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah, this one came from it. Now, I want to show you this. I don't know if you know this about Amazon bags, but those like um, bubble wrap bags that say Amazon on them, those are actually a continuous sheet. And they have a machine that like sort of like heat seals it, cuts the, you know, cuts the bag and seals it at the same time. And when I got this, I like them not got it out of the bag because it was actually in their cockeye, like, catty cornered like that and the corner of it was actually put through that heat seal and cut the corner off of this bag and so it was kind of stuck to the bag and I was scared to death because it even has a little hole in it that it had gotten the diamond painting and so I pulled it out and fortunately it did not get the diamond painting which if it had it would have only gotten like a little piece of the um border but still I would have been very upset but it appears that it's okay I think it only got like the plastic a little bit but anyway this one I actually had a thing on Instagram going asking people which one of these two I should concentrate on finishing and at one time this one was winning but it ended up being a tie so I don't know which one I'm supposed to do um, if y'all want to go to my Instagram, which is Katie's Craft Corner, just like my name on here, if y'all want to go and vote on which one that I do, you are welcome to it. Okay, this one comes with, again, your standard tool kit, green boat, pink pen, pink uh, wax, and we'll set that to the side. This is what I'm calling a pumpkin haunted mansion. It has like these glowing pumpkins down here. And then it's got like the moon and the bats. And then this is actually a glowing pumpkin right here. And it's really cute. The orange of the pumpkin and the orange of these pumpkins. J is the symbol. J, jack-o'-lantern. I think that's kind of cute. Um, it's got orange glowing windows and everything. And there's something about all the glowing that I'm going to mention in a few moments. I've got a feeling this is either mounted or it is double-sided tape. 
um, let's see if I can tell, just with plastic wrap over it, it looks like it is double sided tape. It doesn't look like it is mountain blue. Um, it is really shiny. They just put pl a clear plastic um, down over it because it goes way outside the border and goes way outside right here. Um, but it does appear to be double sided tape, I think. Oh, it might be mounting glue because it's actually not pulling away as one sheet. It might be mounting glue. Yeah, I think it might be. This is mounted, it's not poured glue. Um, if you want to know the difference between like mounted gl mounting glue or mounted glue, poured glue, double sided tape, Rachel Ray actually put out a video today. And I might go ahead and link that down below. Um, but she put out a video today that's talking all about the difference between the glues and the qualities and stuff. And now Maisie's eating her kibble. So, um, but anyway, this is a little cute haunted house. And I will be putting pictures up on the screen of these. And I know I have this kind of sideways. But with my little desk, it's the easiest way to get the whole thing on the camera. Because if I turn it this way, you see most of it, but not really all of it. Um, but, and there seems to be, like, too much glare, of course, as usual. I'll turn it up, sort of. But you can see the little jack-o'-lanterns. And there's the moon with the bats and everything. But this is a cute little haunted house kind of thing with pumpkins that are all glowing and everything. But this is one of my drills and chills that I've got this year. And, of course, there's this big thing right there that it did not there we go that's better I will probably get this on there a little better after I am off camera because this was really tight it's one of those you know they wrap it around the drills and it's not wrapped like it's not round so it gets these really tight bends in it but let's look at the drills really quickly Let's see, it does not appear that it has the DMCs on these, which I really dislike when there's no DMCs, but what can you do? So we'll just look at them real quickly. There's a pink, a dark purple, a lavender, there's, that's three tins, there's gray, there's navy, there's a darker lavender, that is a pretty, like, pinkish orange. There's another lighter orange, there's gray, there's another dark purple, a lighter purple, a taupey color, another navy, a chocolate, a cream color, there's a dark burnt orange, almost kind of like burnt umber, there's a mint green, there's two more purples. So there's a lot of purples in this one. The only oranges are in the windows and the jack o -lanterns. But anyway, that's the drills real quickly for it. And I'm going to pause you again, get this put up, and we'll look at the last painting. Okay, I am back for the last one. And this one is actually a unboxing. And let's see if we can get this open. And, well, like I was mentioning on that one, um, you can go to my, this is actually the nicer canvas. I can already tell just by glancing at it that this is a much nicer looking canvas. I didn't actually get this one up close. I didn't fully put it up. But that gets you a little bit closer. And you can see the drill field. Um, this is a round. And it doesn't have training wheels on it. Thank goodness. But it does have like round marks. Um, there's like colors that go in between. Like you can really see it on these whites. There's like lavender in between each one of those whites. So it's kind of got training circles. But not really. But there's lavender between every one of these whites. Um, and then there's lavender like around the whites. But uh, the drill field is not extremely clear on this one. But it's not bad. Um, there are some darks. Uh, slightly dark ones. That have like black letters on them. But most of the darks have white letters. Um, most of the lights have of course dark letters. Um, 
it's not a bad one. It's just this one seems a whole lot like clearer and crisper. And so this this is like the nicer canvas, I guess. Um, that one that I just showed you was $13.99, again with Bliss Extra. This one was also $13.99, and it's sold by Wonder Bay. Now, I got all of these through Prime, so that means that, you know, Amazon actually sent it to me. Uh, but they were sold by the stores, but via Prime. Um, this one, um, what I was starting to mention was you can go to my Instagram. Ooh, that was a squeaky grossness. And there is a picture there that has got like a wood background. I think I put a blue wood background. And it says help me choose on there or help me decide. And it has pictures of both of these canvases. And uh, that's if you want to go there and do your input. Or if you want to comment it down below, you can. Uh, this one comes with a green boat, pink wax, pink pen, and baggies this time. Um, but you can go and comment there and tell me which one you think I should finish. I'm looking at them more closely now. I kind of like the cat better. Oh, there's two, two <laughs> of these with that one. Okay. So this is this one. And there's a random piece of plastic that came out of it. This is a witchy cat on a broom. And then there's like this little haunted village like below it. But a witchy cat on a broom with a pumpkin flying over the moon. And these are little stars and everything. Um, but this one, um, if you can look, the drill field is, I don't know, it's so much crisper and clearer. Even though the only, like, like the dark orange still has black letters on it, which I would have put white on that. But the black is done in white. Um, but I would have these dark colors over here, I would have done in white. But for some reason, this canvas just looks so much clearer to me. Um, it might just be me. I don't know, but it does. It just looks cleaner and clearer. Um, and this is also, it might be because this is actually uh, poured glue. This is poured glue. It's within the bounds. It doesn't have an edge that you could peel up. This one is poured glue. That might be another reason this just looks nicer to me because of that. Um... And it's also, it's not folded as tightly, so it's not got those, like, humps like that one did. It's not as stiff feeling. But, yeah, I kind of like this canvas better. It looks to me like it'd be easier to do. Um, but I'm going to try and get both of them done during drills and chills. But these are the um, drills, and... This is one of the drill companies I actually kind of like. I didn't show those drills up close. Um, both of these are 30 by 40s, but they're not true 30 by 40s. They actually, I know one of them, but I think both of them actually said it. That it actually mentioned that only it was the canvas size, and it didn't say picture size. Um, let's see. This is like 24 by... And I didn't measure the other one, but they're pretty much the same size. 24 by 34. But they're virtually the same size. You see right here. They're, I mean, the picture and everything. This picture might be slightly bigger. And it might just be because this picture is a little busier color-wise. That this one, because this one actually has, it doesn't have color in between the whites. I think that might be what it is. And if you look at the white compared to white here, and there's all these colors in between, this white just looks so much cleaner because there's not all those colors in between it. And that might be why this one just looks nicer to me because this one looks busy. And this one is, this one right here, they're like two, two totally different things. This one is graffiti heavy. I mean, it's just, or confetti heavy, not graffiti. I don't know why I said graffiti. Confetti heavy. Um, they're even like in the blacks, it's not all black because like, let's see, 310 is M, but this is M, R, and N, all in here. So those navies and the and sign, all of those navies are in here. Some of the purples are in here and the blacks because the and is a navy, the M, the N is a navy. The M, the and, and the N are those three blues. The 
R. Now the R is a blue. The N is a purple. The N is a blue. The M is the black. So there's purple, blue, and black all in that background there. So that deepest purple, it will be in this background too. So that's probably what most of it is because that one is just confetti heavy. And this one is more of a, um, like, someone's dream that doesn't like to do confetti because it's all fours here. There's a little bit of confetti outlining this orange, but then all of this orange is the same color. There's some confetti right here, and then you got all the white. You, the cat is a little bit sort of halfway between confetti and not because it's got like navy and black. The hat, of course, is confetti, um, but most of this orange is the same color. There's a little bit of coloring in between, and then you got all this black with just a few colors in between for the windows. Um, so this one is more, you know, is multi-placing heaven, where that one is confetti <laughs> heaven or hell, depending on which way you think of it. And this could be multi-place or hell. It just depends on what you think of it. I like to do both. I like to change it up. So this is kind of going to be fun because when I get sick and tired of doing multi-placing, I can go and do some confetti. So I can go back and forth, back and forth. It does, you know, this is kind of going to be a dream for me because when I get tired of one, I can go to the other because I am okay with either one. And now where is the opening on these pills? Hello. If I can get one of the edges to start. There we go. There it is. Excuse the clean clean. So here are the drills. I didn't tell you how many colors on each one. This one has more colors too. This one's 20 colors. This one is only 15. And this one has there's a caramel, a chocolate, a pumpkin -y orange. And then both of these look like they may be three tins. And then there's another like milk chocolatey color. There's some peach. There's another caramel, dark caramel. That looks like a blue gray. Another chocolate, peach, more pumpkin y color. That's like a skin tone or uh, just off white. There's a sort of, hmm, what would you call that? Coffee cream, creamy coffee. <laughs> Very creamy coffee. There's another pumpkin y orange. And then there's another like strange brown color. Like super milk chocolate. But that's the colors lots of browns, orange, and black. In fact, there's no, that kind of surprised me, there's no white, even though they're supposed to be like glowing windows. But that doesn't matter. Because the next bag, I'm just going to slide these in there really quickly and set this off to the side. And I am going to show this before I open up the next bag because I am thinking, since it is fall themed, we are doing drills and chills. I am either going to be doing Enchanted Apple or Granny's Apple Pie as my patty wax because these are like fall scents. But in my house, fall scent is also lemon pound cake because that's when you start, Mama starts making pound cake for Thanksgiving, for my birthday, for my dad's birthday, for, you know, church things, for, you know, whatever. And then I've also got sugar cookie or peanut butter cookie, too. That's kind of a fall thing, too. We kind of get into making cookies and cakes and pies and stuff like that for Thanksgiving and uh, whatever. This is the other package. This is why I'm not really that concerned about some of the colors. Now, this comes from Tima. I ordered this package. Whoops, better get that out of the way because I have my address on it. Hope I didn't show that. I think I had it far enough over to the side, which I think my, yeah, my camera kind of wiggled. Sorry about that. This came from Tima. I made a big, big order from her specifically for this event. 
And before I look at everything that she sent, I also have these. They are squares, but you know I don't really care. I got these in with one of my patty wax orders. Um, these are like kind of a pumpkin -y orange, and they're AB. And uh, but now all of these are rounds, and all of these aren't necessarily for that or for what I got. I did get another one of these because this is one of those. Uh, Stickers, Tima sells them. Um, it's a diamond, and then you kind of paint it with these rhinestones right here. And there's like a rainbow of colors. There's black, blue, orange, green, purple, red, um, yellow. But you kind of like do this little diamond. I had this sitting on the back of my computer, and my computer has been in the shop for over a month. And I got it back today. Thank you, Lord. But I had to take, they told me that they were going to trash my computer. So I had to take my diamond off the back because it's like covering up my HP symbol. I had to take my diamond off of it and it wasn't sticking too well anymore. And so I got me another one to put on my computer. Um, anyway, what I have here, I'm going to kind of separate it out. I also got me some holographic diamond stickers. need to add some more bling to my desk. Let's see. See, got sparklers together, those together, these together. Okay, first I have these, which are not going to go on one of these two. The Bithynian, they might. You don't know. But this is Amber Sparklers, and it's a really nice kind of orange pumpkin -y color. And I thought those would be really pretty, and I might yeah, do one pumpkin with sparklers. And then I also got this, 3340 which I think, if I'm not mistaken, was a maybe a burnt orange. But it's a rhinestone or a sparkler kind of. Well, it's not actually a sparkler. I think this was the rhinestones. Um, but it's so I think it was a burnt orange, if I'm not mistaken. But it's kind of a pumpkin-y like color. And then I also got me some black ABs. I thought I might replace some of the black on one or both paintings with some pretty ABs. I already actually have um, some stuff from Tima and I have white ABs already. Um, I also got these, I think it's 3819. These are AB rounds. Um, if I remember correctly, these were, I want to pull out my packing set, that might help. These were, oh, huh, I, that fell out. I got a pretty prismatic sparklers sticker that will go on my desk. This is moss green. And I am torn on whether I'm going to put this in the cat eyes, because the cat eyes are supposed to be green. And I'm torn whether I'm going to put these in the cat eyes, or if I might put, uh, the ones I've got over here in the cat eyes. But one of these two is going to go in the cat eyes. But this is a like moss green. And then this one. I got two packs of these. Because I thought I might put these on the pumpkins. This is called Orange Spice. And they are AB's drills. It's number 720. And it's called Orange Spice. But I thought those, that was a very pretty pumpkin-y like color. And then I also got this AB, which is called Tangerine, and it could do like some highlight on the pumpkins. And then these three here are all glow in the dark. This is Pearl Glow in the Dark Sparklers, um, which means that they are, a, they are AB, but they also glow in the dark. And I'm probably going to put a picture up over here. Um, or over on one side of the screen. I'm going to put a picture up of these glowing because I pulled them out earlier tonight and I charged them and then took them in or earlier today. Charged them up underneath uh, my bar light and then took them into the bathroom and took a picture of them glowing. And if I remember correctly, I think I had them orange, yellow, and then the pearl in that order. So I'll probably like do like a picture at the point. Well, we'll do that after I look at these. 
Um, but these are AB pearls and they glow in the dark. I could put these as the stars on the kitty cat or even in the windows. This is the other color I was thinking about doing the kitty cat eyes in because these glow. And this one is called Lemon, I think. Let's see, I think it's on the back. Let me, uh, come on, let's get these. Let's see. Yeah, lemon. This is a neon lemon color. Um, this does look like it has an AB coating too. Yeah, AB coating too. And it will glow in the dark and it glows yellow. And then these glow orange and they're called cantaloupe. And I was kind of thinking that cantaloupe, cantaloupe, uh, cantaloupe, uh, should not say that. Not this one, the haunted house. This pumpkin right here that's up there at the moon that is supposed to be like all lit up and then it's got what almost looks like sparks coming out from around it. I thought about doing some of those, the cantaloupe glow in the dark on it because it's brighter than these down here. But I may put some glow in the darks down here too. I actually wish I had bought some black glow in the darks because I probably could have done glow in the darks in their faces and their like eyes and mouths. But um, I may just do like some glow in the darks where the J's are maybe, or I might do the two colors, the darker on the outside where these T's are, and then the J's on the inside where, since they are a dark and a light orange, didn't think of that, but that may work. We'll see, I don't know, but those pumpkins look like they're glowing, and it's actually shooting up underneath the house, I didn't realize that at first. To make it look like they're actually glowing because there's like light coming up the eaves glowing like purple on the house and it kind of makes me wish I bought some glow in the dark purple um but uh, or some purple sparkling but I might have some purple sparklers I could replace uh but yeah these glow in the dark and I think this is the direction that I had them in because these kind of glow white these glow yellow these glow orange and that's why I went ahead and got them like that since they kind of glow the colors that they are. But since I've got them lined up right there, I'll probably try and put the picture cut out above it. That way you can see them now as they are and then glowing up above it. So hopefully I'm inserting that picture right here. Um, but anyway, that is what all I have for Drills and Chills 2020. I'm going to go ahead and get to work on one of these two. Um... Before we go, I'll go ahead and show you these holographic stickers that also came from Tima. These are the holographic stickers that came. All those pretty holographic. I love holographic stuff. And I love, that's why I love ABs because they kind of remind you of holographic stuff because they have those rainbowy colors. But I love holographic stuff. And I don't have really any holographic diamonds on my table. Um, yeah, none of mine are holographic. So I got even a sparkler and all kinds of holographics that I can put here on my table. But anyway, that's what I all I got from Tima. And then, of course, my paintings. These are the two primary ones. Uh, I know I'll get the skull done because I can do it, like I said, during my infusion. But these are the two primary ones. If you do want to vote on them, there is a link below to my Instagram. If you want to go and vote which one you think I should do. And like I said, I'm putting, I did put pictures hopefully up when I'm showing these. And I may go ahead and try and put pictures up again of the actual paintings. That way you can see them a little better in the uh, screen. Because being 30 by 40s, they're not exactly that clear. Uh, but I thought they were really cute. And this was the only size that came in. And I kind of wanted to do cutesy Halloween. I didn't want to do scary Halloween or anything. I really wanted to do Halloween. I didn't really want to do fall. So, yeah, this is what I got for Drills and Chills 2020. I hope I get at least one of these two done uh, for the Drills and Chills. But um, if I don't, I don't. It doesn't matter. But I hope I get one of these two done. But go and vote which one you think I should try my best to get completed. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Um, I got some more unboxings from Diamond Art Club coming. And uh, I think I've got a few that are from AliExpress or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I've got a few unboxings to come. 
and another group and chat and all that kind of stuff. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.